In this video, I'm going to show you the quickest and easiest way to make fully automated informational content that is guaranteed to rank well on Google. And I bet it will help you get accepted onto AdSense as well. The way that this is going to work is we're going to ask ChatGPT for an essay outline. I got this idea for reference by clicking on examples on the playground. If you don't know what the playground is, I'm currently using the playground because ChatGPT is banned in Italy, but I was already using the playground. I already had many, many videos about it, and I actually think it's better for making good content. When I clicked on examples today, I was just reading through, just why not? And I, I noticed this one here, which said essay outline. Now you might think this this is really basic and rudimentary and kind of stupid, but I just suddenly thought that maybe we could write essays instead of blog posts, but the end result is still a blog post. And oh God, was I right. So the first part of this process is we're just gonna paste this prompt, which is create an outline for an essay about Nikola Tesla and his contributions to technology. However, we're going to change that, but I wanna show you that you can write about anything. This is my friend's uh, bike website. They, he sells bike parts basically. And I want to write an article for him about carbon seat posts and why they're better. So you can say for an essay about carbon seat posts and why they are better should be, uh, it's just carbon. And then you basically can just press submit. However, I can't judge the content and I can't tell you if it's a good outline. So unfortunately, I will have to write about something that I know about. So create an outline for an essay about Kiton as a classic menswear brand. This is still fully informational. It's still purely objective. There can be mistakes in this article from ChatGPT. We will find out. So what I like to do is, first of all, if you don't, if you don't have access to the ChatGPT4 API, this option will not be available. However, you can use ChatGPT 3.5 for this. But you basically just want to click on mode and click on chat and then click on model and then just select whichever model you want to use. And then I only change temperature and maximum length. I never change these three. I find that changing these bottom two just makes ChatGPT talk like it's drunk or something, like it just goes completely crazy and starts giving me information that's just not true. So yeah, definitely be careful with frequency penalty and presence penalty. Then all we want to do is press submit, and this should give us a very, very good and very, very interesting outline for an essay, which we're actually going to use as a blog post. So when I was doing this before, this is the third time making this video. It said here, A, founding in 1956 by Chido Paoni, which is correct, and Antonio Carola. I didn't know this. ChatGPT told me this. It turns out that Antonio Carola was also a co-founder of Kiton. I had no idea. I've only heard of Chiro Paoni. So I find it really, really interesting that ChatGPT can teach me, an apparent expert on the topic, something new about the topic. And I really like that. And I think that's a really good demonstration of why this process is better than just saying, write me an essay. So we're going to take this. This is now our blog outline. And what I want you to do is I want you to do control A and then control C to copy all of the outline and then hit refresh. The first thing you want to do when you hit refresh is put temperature back on one and maximum length back on 2048. Then you want to paste the prompt now into the system instead of into uh, the user or the, uh, what's it called? The client, the assistant. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to, I've already, here's one I made earlier, as they always say on these, uh, on those programs when you were a kid. Um, but basically I have this really, really long prompt, but what I'm gonna, all I'm gonna do from this particular prompt is I'm gonna take my embeds that are related to Kiton. So comparatively, think about this, just take your category embeds for whatever categories are relevant for this blog post, okay? This might take a little bit longer, but once you actually have the embeds and they're nice and organized like this, then it'll be much quicker. You want to post that at the bottom of the prompt and you want to write embeds with a colon like this. And then you want to write outline or essay outline here. And then we're going to write at the very bottom, we're going to write internal links. And then I'm going to show you how to very quickly and easily get your internal links. So you want to go to your search console 
okay? There are a couple of ways to do this. You could do most recent dates if you want all of the blog posts that are currently ranking. However, I think I'll just, sorry, all the pages that are currently ranking, not blog posts. However, I think I'll just leave it on last three months. And then you wanna click on pages on Search Console and click sort by impressions. And then as you can see, Google has been indexing my table of contents. So I'm gonna click new page does not contain. You can also do does contain if you only want blog posts. So you could write URLs containing blog. However, I want URLs not containing rough. So now that I've done that, it should remove all those spammy ones that I don't want. And then I'm gonna click on 50. Don't do more than 50. I would actually recommend 50 or 25. You wanna start copying where it says top pages and you wanna scroll down and copy basically everything. And then you wanna open a new Google Sheet. Once your Google Sheet is loaded, just click on A1 and then press Control V. And now you can see you have a list of your best uh, ranking um, pages, not even blog posts, pages on Google. So let's have a quick look at this. We have Kiton, which is important for me, uh, Kited, Kiton Suits, Capenity, and then just a load of blog posts. There's a few products, etc., etc. So yeah, that's good. So I'm gonna where it says internal links, I'm gonna paste this. I don't know what those X's. I don't know why there's X's around sneakers. That's kind of weird. Okay. At the top of this, I'm gonna write, or I'm gonna copy and paste a little prompt. Okay, so at the very top of the system, I'm gonna write, write this essay. You, you'll find all of this prompt in the description, by the way. Write this essay, include internal links and the Hura collection embedder after you mention a brand. This will embed my collection, it's very important. Use markdown formatting. When you mention a brand, please embed, use the titles from the essay outline, use internal links as Ahrefs and embeds. You might wonder why I'm just writing that so many times. It's because ChatGPT sometimes just doesn't listen, okay? And it just doesn't do the internal links or it doesn't do the embeds. However, putting it in the system definitely works better. So shout out to the guy that told me that I was using the playground incorrectly and I laughed at you. You're actually kind of right. So I apologize for that. So I'm gonna write please because people have been saying oh, you have to write please. Please write this essay for me. I think I might write as well, you uh, don't forget internal links and embeds. Also use the titles from the essay outline. You probably don't have to write this, but I'm very paranoid that it just won't work because it hasn't worked a couple of times now and it's very, very annoying. So, okay, it's working, perfect. The world of menswear with an internal link to, okay, yeah, this works beautifully. So we're gonna let that write, and while that's writing, we're gonna go ahead and go to designer.microsoft.com. I'm kind of annoyed that it already had a, a design there. Can I have a new one, please? Thank you. Okay, so you'll see this screen here. You can also use Canva for free. Uh, Microsoft Designer is better, and it's also free for now. So you just need to get onto the waiting list. Do I have more invites? No. A Shopify featured image uh, for a blog post called and then I don't know what, you can't see what it's called. But I think it's called Time the Timeless Elegance of Kiton. Okay, so because we have professional photographers in our team, I can just click on My Media and I can select one of these amazing photos of this famous model wearing a Kiton suit. Obviously not everyone's gonna have that, so instead just press Generate and it should give you something that is half decent or at least workable. Right now, it's not giving me a very good one. This one's pretty good. But let me just show you the one that it gave me earlier, which I absolutely love because obviously the article that I'm writing now in this video, I've already written and it's right here. So the Timeless Elegance of Kiton, it keeps giving me this title. So it's kind of interesting. If, you, if someone tried to write this exact same article, it would probably give them the exact same title. So that's not very good for SEO. So definitely something to be wary of there. I don't know how I feel about that, to be honest with you, but this is now the fourth time I've written this article and it, every single time it's given me basically the same title. So that's, that's probably not very good, honestly. I'm kind of uh, disappointed by that, but yeah. You can see it's using internal links, it's using embeds, and honestly, I know that the content is gonna be good, 
because we've given it a good layout. While this is finishing, uh, it's pretty much finished actually, so we may as well wait. I wanna know how many words this has, and also I wanna show you how to add a little bit more content. So you can see, I don't think it's mentioned women. It has not mentioned women's clothing. So first of all, I'm gonna see how many words this is, and I'm gonna see if it's formatted correctly. So I just go to mark down to html.com, select all the example, and then press control V. You can see internal link, internal link, internal link. Do these work? Oh, it doesn't load them. I always forget about that. Internal link, internal link, internal link, etc., etc. So you're gonna have to click on raw HTML. And the reason for that is because of the embeds. The embeds are actually inside divs. If you're not using these embeds, then you, you can just copy and paste this content directly into your CMS. Let's open a new Google Doc, and I just want to check how many words this is. Let's have a little look. It looks like it's not that many words. 504 words, which is not a lot at all. The reason for that is because it takes up a lot of content to write the, um, the internal links. So what we can do is we can go back to the playground, and we can say, add a section about women's wear, and then maybe think of another topic so women's wear and also off the rack suit let's just write an and instead of comma so the reason that we're adding off the rack is because we sell off the rack kit on suits we don't sell um, made to measure or bespoke kit on suits i'm going to press submit it's probably going to tell me that okay it's actually not going to I'm going to cancel that because as you can see, it's connected those two things. So I'm going to say add two new sections, one about Kiton women's wear and one about their off the rack suits. And then I'm going to hit submit again and that will write that content and that that will just be good content. And now at the end of this will be well over 1000 words. So let's go back to the featured image. Let's double click this and hit rename. And I'm going to have to rename this to something like V2 instead. Because I already have images that are called the timeless elegance of Kiton. And then make sure you click remove watermark and press download. This should be finishing fairly quickly. I just want to talk a little bit about this method and why I think it's so good. It structures the articles much better. Honestly, if you just let ChatGPT do its own thing, sometimes it just does some crazy stuff that doesn't work very well. So you definitely want to make a, an essay outline. You want to check the essay outline. And then at the end of checking the essay outline, it will give you better content. What you can do is you can, where it says uh, just before conclusion, you can um, paste the new content that we just added. And now I hope this is gonna be over a thousand words. It's still not over a thousand words. Okay, anyway, considering the average blog post on my, on my website is 400, this is pretty good. You can definitely add more content, like you can say add another section and then hit submit and hopefully this will just give a little bit more that's exactly what it's done lifestyle products and accessories we actually do have some perfumes so that's really really good for us as well and yeah that's basically how you write longer form content that's organized and that will rank on google that has good information accurate information etc etc make sure you check the data after and yeah that's pretty much it guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope this helps you create some good content I'll see you really, really soon with some more. Peace out.